Good morning. Today is Wednesday, June the 14th. The time right now in Singapore is 8.29 in the morning. And today we're going to talk a little bit about what happened overnight. We have the release of the U.S. Consumer Price Index or the CPI. It came in uh, very much within expectation. On a month-on-month -month basis, it only uh, rose 0.4% on a year-on-year -year basis. It is uh, rose only 4%. So basically, this has shown that the Inflation numbers has been steadily been climbing down, and this is just 24 hours ahead of the FOMC meeting in which the Federal Reserve will have be the to decide on what they want to do with their interest rates. And that will be happening tonight at 2 a.m. Uh, Singapore time. Technically, it's already Thursday, Singapore time. And so do watch out for this uh, major announcement for the week itself. In fact, the whole week has been waiting for this uh, FOMC meeting in which the Fed will have to decide. The market has to uh, is already expecting that the Fed is likely to pause. And last night, CPI number released probably give the Fed a cover to actually pause because there was no acceleration in the inflation front. So maybe this is where the Fed will be pausing after uh, 10 consecutive rate hikes since March of 2022. So this is what the market is expecting. And as a result, we can see the equity market has actually rose on the idea that if the Fed pause interest rate, it is actually good for equity markets. Now, I tend to defer because the Fed has actually telepathed to the markets that they, a, a pause uh, is not necessarily going to be uh, conducive uh, in their opinion uh, for a set bubble to develop uh, in the equity markets space. So this is where we are right now. Market do have the expectation that a pause is great for equity markets, but we are not talking about a pivot here, which means a cut in interest rates. There's no language that the Fed has been using that uh, indicates there's going to be a cut in interest rate. And that can only happen if the U.S. economy is seriously going to a recession, of which we are not currently seeing signs that it is in an imminent uh, recession just yet, although the signs are not good going forward. So in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, in, in which you are seeing the chart in front of you, uh, last night uh, we have a high of 34,000. 310.3, which is uh, almost comparable to the year high. The year high is at this level at 34,342.3. So we are very, very close to uh, flirting with the year high. Uh, will the market actually go beyond that level? Uh, it's everybody's guess, but my my uh, inclination suggests that we probably will see a pullback is what we call a buy the rumor, sell the fact. Possibly, uh, this is what the market may play out. If we do get a pullback, I suspect the market may actually go down all the way to 33,000 debt, or maybe I have to adjust this level a little bit. Okay, maybe the market will probably be looking at somewhere in a 33,400 levels and uh, before it decides if, if you want to continue to charge higher. So in the meantime, the key level for me, as far as I'm concerned, the key level is not the year's high at 34,342.3 over here. I think the key level here is this level at 34,712.3. So if this level is breached, of course, my outlook for the market will have changed dramatically. So do watch out for this level. In the meantime, stay awake for the 2 a.m. Uh, announcement by the Federal Reserve as to what they want to do with the uh, interest rates. In the meantime, you take care and I'll come back to you tomorrow with another update. Bye-bye.